This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here post-fight, the victorious and the new Hopi Price. How are you, mate? Good, you know, and the new nice little belt to the collection, so I'm happy. Speaking to Dave in the build-up of this one, it is sort of the first proper belt. I know you boxed for the IBO Continental before. Nice to sort of have that around your, around your uh, yeah, shoulder. It's nice to sometimes have something to show for you. Nice to just go on with the winning experience. So, uh, it's, it's, it's nice. It looks, it looks nice, doesn't it? Look, let's talk a little bit about the performance. Someone who's been in there on a world level before. You know, we knew that he was game and he was tough as it comes. Um, what do you take out of that? I suppose first ten rounds in 2023. Yeah, I knew he was a, a tough challenge. You know, I knew he was tough. I knew he's compete for the WBC world title. He's a former European champion, and um, I knew he was going to be tough. So I just took my time. You know, done what I needed to do. Box, boxed. So I sort of cruised the fight. Really, I thought oh, I personally didn't think I lost a round. So. Uh, just, just the sort of performance I think I needed at this stage of my career. I spoke to Dave in the build-up and he always speaks about how much of a gym rat you are. You've always got your head down, even this morning. I didn't want to interrupt the two of you at breakfast. It just seemed laser focused. Just how nice is it having that dynamic with someone like Dave? Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, Because of the relationship with Dave, the relationship with Jordan who's in the gym, the relationship with all the other boys who's in the gym, it's not a... Uh, I don't feel like I'm, I'm in the gym. I just feel at home all the time. So uh, I'm constantly there, you know. I never take no time out. I'm always in the gym. Sometimes, obviously, you might not work flat out 100 mile an hour every time, but I'm still in the gym every day learning and, and perfecting the craft. I spoke to Dave this week, and it's not always the easiest. Um, and I know you've had a sort of little bit of a difficult last couple of years or so. Um, now, coming through that, how proud are you of the changes that you've made moving forward and, yeah, and, and just, just how everything's been? I'm just very happy, you know. I've had a um, lot going out the ring. Um, which sometimes you just can't control that, and um, I feel like I've handled it very well, you know. At this stage of my career, being so young, you know, a lot of fights can drift off and let it get in the way. And you know what? Big thanks to all them behind me because they've helped me. You know, they've been there for me, not just in the boxing gym but out the boxing gym. And uh, I've come through that now, and uh, you're really going to see the best of me now because we're pushing on, be consistent, and be busy. Were there times mentally where it sort of tested your discipline? Yeah, definitely. There's been times where you wake up, you don't want to go to the gym, you don't want to train, you don't want to go sparring, you think kind of be bothered, you know. But um, you know what? You've just got to, you've just got a battle on, you know. You've just got a battle on, and um, like you say, I had a few things happen, a few close members passed away, but you know, I do it for them as well as myself now, so it spurs me on now. You certainly did them proud tonight, and with that belt around your shoulder, um, just a few more from me. Moving forward, I know that sort of now you've got that belt, it'll be you'll want more and more and more. You'll want to be as accomplished as possible. Jack Bateson is the name that's being thrown about. Um, it is a Leeds derby for yourself, something that you could really get your teeth into, a little bit of needle in the build up. How much does the prospect of that excite you? you know, it excites me, you know, it's a, it'd be a big fight for Leeds, you know, but both Leeds lads. Uh, we're both up and coming, you know, and uh, these next generation shows what it's all about, and we are the next generation, and uh, I want a headline in Leeds, and I believe that's the fight that's going to sell the arena, isn't it, me versus Jack Bates, and so uh, obviously I'd like to show who the daddy is, me. OP, thank you very much for speaking to us at Boxing Social. We look forward to an exciting 2023, and maybe that showdown towards the end and selling out an, an, an arena in Leeds? Definitely, you know, I think believe it'll definitely happen before the end of the year, so uh, hopefully it gets made. Just a final message, fans, sponsors? Yeah, you know, a big thank you to all my sponsors, all my fans what um, come up to support me, to support me wherever they go. So um, a big thank you to them and okay. everyone who was watching. Thank you very much. Okay, top man, all the best.